So today we'll be taking a look at how you can look at your time played on a game on your Xbox. It's pretty simple, all you want to do is find the game that you want. So here we're going to have a look at Grand Theft Auto Online. All you do is press the button that's like start or three lines, how you want to see it. And once you pull this menu up here, you want to click game card. Once we're on game card, we just want to scroll along to go to official club. Once we click into this, you're going to see a few different things at the top there. Welcome, feed, multiplayer, progress, social, and what. We just want to scroll along to progress. Once we're in progress, we're going to see our achievements. And then we're also going to see a little button on the side that says stats. I'm just going to go over to that, click stats. Once we click stats, it's going to look a little different depending on what game. This does not work on like Xbox 360 games. This as far as I'm aware is like Xbox One and Xbox Series S and X games. So once you're over here, you're going to see your time played. This is time played for that specific version of the game. Now the reason I show GTA is because it shows a few different things here. As you see, I have my total time played. That'll be across my entire GTA Online account. This is time played across the game. This will be campaign and the online mode. There are some different um, stats here. And on some of them, you're going to see this little gold ribbon. And you're going to see underneath my time played, it says rank one of two friends. If you click on that, you can compare with people that are on your friends list. The gold little ribbon means I'm number one. I think so. I've seen second place. That's like a silver. There may be a third plus one, but I'm not too sure on that because I haven't seen that on my friends list. But you can see you've got some different stats there as well. So I just thought I'd show Call of Duty here as well. This is the only game, as you can see, this game doesn't have as many stats, which I think is a little bit disappointing for a AAA game, especially a modern one like the new Modern Warfare 2. But yeah, that's how you look at your stats on Xbox. Hope you found this useful, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.